Good evening, everyone, and welcome to episode 42 of Hardcorn, uh, in which uh, we are trying to get some gold because we want to dezombify some more uh, villagers, but uh, only have so much gold. Not enough for, uh, for all of them. And I believe the sun is coming up behind me here. Start of, start of a new day. Um, I think there's a little bit of a glitch in either Optifine or the uh, the shader that's making that little hard edge on the light there instead of uh, a, uh, a smooth gradient. But, uh, oh wow, we got uh, Enderman over there. Okay. Anyway, uh, let me turn around so I can see where I'm looking. Make sure I don't look right at him. That wouldn't be good. Anyway, so what we're going to do... Um, I have been... Oops. Eat that. I need to redo that entry. One thing I have been doing... Come on, sheep. Quiet down. And the cows, too. Come on. One thing that I was doing, which uh, has helped me uh, get a bit of uh, gold in uh, my other world, is to uh, open up the ceiling here a little bit to try to get uh, iron golems to spawn down here. But uh, thus far, they have not. Um, they seem to preferentially spawn up there on the surface. Uh, the idea was to shove them into here and uh, let them go into the, the nether and, uh, you know, bash around some, uh, some piglins, get me some uh, gold nuggets that way. Um, but we definitely need more. We don't even have enough to uh, dezombify one uh, villager. And we have two in here waiting. You know, I've never named my villagers in this village, in this, uh, in this world yet. Probably start doing that. Anyway, um, we got all, all these guys. We've got a few extra beds over here that we want to fill up. Uh, that's one, two, three, four. Actually, six. And, um, yeah. I want to get some good deals out of those six villagers. Uh, and we don't even have enough gold to do one. So... Uh, I think it's going to be, since uh, we don't have the, the, the golem spawning down here, we're going to have to go get it. We're going to have to go and dig for it. So let's see what I've got. i got to get some stuff out of my inventory here. We'll do a little mulching here. And uh, I guess the tree saplings as well. Yeah, that didn't really do anything. Okay, uh, or didn't amount to uh, enough Got a couple of bones I do want to keep those on hand in case I run into a wolf uh, let's see we got a couple of diamonds and uh, that's well about it got a, lot, a, lot, a lot of iron though all right let's drop off some stuff here uh, I got a bunch of cobblestone walls let's put the iron ingots in there uh, we can consolidate those later uh, what have we got as far as Oh, this goes. Let's see. Sand. Uh, where have I been putting sand? Uh, looks like I've been putting it right there. Fine. There you go. And uh, gunpowder. Toss that in there with that. Actually, we need to bring it over to the, uh, the other chest for the, with the brewing supplies. And uh, I think we got a dirt chest uh, down below that we can toss some of this stuff in. All right. Yeah, because we got... Three old stacks of dirt here. Uh, we got cobblestone walls. Dirt, I think we can go in a chest down here. Uh, where was my dirt chest? Down here. Boom. Um, I'm going to keep that on hand. This dirt is handy. All right. Put the andesite together there. Uh, and let's go drop off the rotten flesh and the walls. Put those over in here. Okay. Uh, yeah, those are still cobblestone as well. Put that in here. We got some dirt in here as well from when we were uh, doing the ceiling. Um, let's see. And this coal we should probably stack at some point. All right. And 
Let's go ahead and sell these. What the heck, why not? Are you buying? You're buying. All right, one emerald. Sweet. All I need right now. Okay, and we'll toss that in there. Uh, let's see. Let's top off our coal. Uh, we got a few sticks there. We're going to need some more. We're going to need some more torches, which means we're going to need some more sticks. Boom. Okay, and then torches. Okay. Uh, okay. And I think that's as many as I can build at the moment. Uh, we have some things to, uh, to mend there a bit. Um, don't have mending on this yet. Anyway, uh, we're going to be, let's see, I got the silk touch on that one. Uh, I got the fortune two on that one. So we'll, we'll bring stuff up with the, uh, the silk touch and bring up the ore with that. That should give us some efficient, uh, carrying capacity. I guess I'll leave that open there. All right, so uh, I'm trying to remember. Was this the one going down to diamond level? Because I think that'll max the gold as well, won't it? We are still in 117 here on this world. I might up it to 118 at some point. Let's see. And yes, we are at level 11. So where have we not gone yet? Let's see. I think we went a little ways there, and then we also went this way as well. Let's continue on this way. See if we can find us some gold. An old silky pickaxe ready to go. Now, if I remember right, this one actually takes us through some uh, little caves over here. Some of which were maybe a little bit hazardous. I'm not sure. I might be thinking of another world that I had. Oh, yeah, this is the one with the... Yeah. And that's right. We were coming through here, and I think... Um, the game sound somehow was not in the... In the recording. All right, so... Over here... We got this to deal with, uh, but let's see. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, hold on. Whoa. What the heck? All right, let's, uh, yeah, we don't want stuff dropping on us from up there, I don't think. So I'm going to go ahead um, and roof this. I guess we're going to be roofing with dirt. Uh, and maybe putting a little dirt bridge across here as well. Can we reach that? Yes, we can. There we go. All right, and we'll do there. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Careful, let's not go at an angle too much here. All right, and we'll shore up the sides as well, so that anything that drops down will be down at this level. Except for they're over there. Hopefully that won't be able to get us. All right, so, um, but as far as mining goes, let's see, there was this one here. So there was one, and then this would be the second one. And we're gonna dig here. Do our little side bore. I guess we probably should have done that before doing that, but what the heck. All right, maybe we'll get a piece or two of uh, stone. There we go. Pop that there, and then the dirt there, and there. And there. Okay, that uh, ought to keep us safe. All right, but let's do our 
proper bore holes here. Okay, so it should be about here. We want to be methodical about this. Let's see. So that was so that was there. So that's one, two, third one should be there. I think that's what we're going with anyway. All right. So next bore here. Uh, we got a little iron there. This one we can't reach. All right, so I guess we. Yeah, oh, yeah. Um, right there. Maybe I should. Oh, I should have. I should have put water down on that. Dang it, I'm stupid. All right, well, let's see. If it uncovers this, we'll do that one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. All right. Yep, just getting iron ore. Good. Uh oh. Sounds like uh. Sounds like a little flying rat met its uh, met its doom there. And back to dirt. Okay. Plug that up. Oh, I, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. We want to bore through a bit more. Ah, okay. A little bug in the shaders there. Time is it? Yeah, it's right. At, it's near dawn. I think that's about you know, when it usually happens. Oh. Sand falling down there. And it happens for enchanted stuff, so. And that's what I got. Alright, let's uh, back over here. Close that up. Alright. Moving on. Let's see. So that's one there and there. And this is our next four. That is just so freaky. At least we're going a little faster with the uh, the digging now. And we got some uh, properly enchanted stuff here. All right. Uh, let's see. That was... I mean, that's one, two, so the next one. Actually, I'm going to... A little thing in my hand here. And... Turn this up so y'all can see a little better. All right. Always got to do that. So let's see. I think... Uh, torch goes there. Yep. All right. Got to be careful. Because I want to... Uh, it's digging and just kind of just... Lurch gone forward right after digging out a, uh, a block down below there. And, um, yeah, ended up falling into a cave. That wasn't fun. Especially since it was a, uh, it had a stream going through it. And because of that, I nearly got swept away. Not fun. That was pretty early in this world as well. Okay. Always nice. Oops. I was about to say, it always, it's always nice when you get sand, but it doesn't fall. Or uh, gravel, rather. But uh, it did. Okay, so we got uh, some redstone right there. I'm going to notch this. Go ahead and open it up. Oh, what is that? Okay, that is uh, more redstone. All right. That's just more redstone. Okay. 
I might come back for that later. Okay, there's some coal there. We're not really hurting for coal, I don't believe, but I'll notch that side as well. All right, that is one. So we're going here. Okay. It's not wasted on that. Okay. Another one with redstone. And we'll go this way. So what we're hoping for is gold. And we'll see what we get. So that's one, two, that's the third. I gotta keep careful count because uh, with the uh, brightness uh, turned up so that the you know it's visible in the stream, um, it makes it harder for me to tell just by you know the gathering gloom and darkness that it's time to put a uh, torch up. Um, and I've gone well past where I should before uh, in this kind of circumstances. So kind of learn to turn back and, and count pretty much every time, just as the habit. I'm pretty methodical here. Certainly don't have enough of uh, anything really to like make a, a beacon. Of course, I don't even, you know, have the uh, have the beacon. I never actually in um, in survival mode ever defeated the wither or or tried to. Well, I try actually. I kind of tried to try to uh, to get the wither skulls and got killed by a wither skeleton. Oh, that was that was early on. Not in this world, but uh, in my original world, I was going after it. Ended up, you know, losing everything because I was like, you know, wandering well into uh, into this this uh, fortress, another fortress, um, just trying to find the, uh, the skeletons and forgot my way back to it. Um, and then when I was, you know, trying to make uh, new armor to replace what I had lost, um, I accidentally converted every possible diamond into chest plates. And you, you can't recover that. You, can, you, can't, uh, you can't switch it back. Um, now, in hindsight, I could have, say exited without saving, you know, just kill the game and whatever the last uh, save point was, that would that would have been it. But uh, I didn't do that. Did not do that. Um, so, uh, consequently, I had no diamonds for pretty much anything. I got a lot of iron in here. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and pop a torch right up there, and we'll leave that open to, uh, to get the coal later on if we need it. Okay, whoop, 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 not what I meant to do. Here we go. Just drilling further to see if there's anything in there. All right, so we'll leave that open. It's lit up. I mean... The whole coal seam is kind of exposed over here, so I don't necessarily need to leave it open, but it helps. All right. Uh, one, two, three, there's a third. Okay. Pop a torch on. Okay. So we had... Big ol' snowstorm this past week. And, uh, during the storm, we lost power here. And it was like over 25 hours we were without power. Uh, fortunately, 
It was not at a time that uh, I'd scheduled any streams. So we were able to get back on and, and hit this on time. Everything's all charged up as far as the, uh, you know, as far as the battery backups and all that. And uh, ever since then, I have been shoveling the snow. It's, it was probably more snow file. I'm not going to say exactly how much, but I think it's the uh, most snow, the biggest snow file I've seen uh, where we are in a single day. I've seen probably about this much falling over the course of a couple days. But, uh, yeah. N not, not in a single day. Unfortunately, we just had a single day. And then later during the week, we had, uh, you know, another inch or two, but it didn't stick on the roads because those have been salted by then. Whoops. Cave up there. Nice. All right. I don't want anything falling down, so I'm going to plug that up. As a matter of fact, I'm going to close that up entirely. I don't know if we're going to have water pouring down in here at some point. Uh, just plug that. All right. So that was one, two, three. Okay. Two for a torch. And really, we're due for some gold. It's just opening right up into a cave, isn't it? Oh, there's some coal over there. I mean, it's fine. We got plenty of coal. Oh, and we got some redstone there. Um. I'm going to cover that up just for safety's sake, and we'll leave that notched. Whoa, okay. It's going to be over this side as well. I have a feeling at some point we're going to have water pouring down into here. Hopefully not too bad. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do the gravel. Well, yeah, here we go. How's it? And suddenly it's coming from over here. Oh, did I, I? I may have opened up a. Uh, I may have opened up a way in. Yeah, when I put that up, the water's probably started flowing up over this. Okay. I get it. It makes sense. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut those out so it won't be so deep when it comes down. Maybe I should cut a hole in the floor. Yeah, let the water come down into that. All right. Uh, we're going to do one more. Yep. That strategy. All right, let's uh, plug that up. And in fact, we'll do that whole thing there. Like that. Oh, yeah. And go into this one. We'll probably get some falling down in here. Yep. Just plug that. That's fine. All right, we forgot to do this one as well. Yep.
Sometimes mining can be a little wet. And here we go again. Okay. Nothing there. Okay. More gravel. I'm trying to tell which way we're going. Which way are we facing, anyway? Uh, this is facing south. And let's see, the sun was rising opposite the, you know, that's what would be the east. So south would be, All right, I'm getting confused. South would be uh, over towards the, the, uh, the village in that general direction. You have some rivers that way, but you know, this is too deep for that. Some ocean that way too, but I don't think it goes this deep either. Okay, get back to maybe some normal progress now. Ah, redstone. Well, you know what? We're going to go ahead and take that one. And the next one as well. Whoops. gravel. All right. Um, we're in there a little bit. Let's go ahead and just put a torch there. And we got plenty of space in the inventory. All right. And let's see. This, we need a torch here. Ugh, I hate that bug. Hope they fix it soon. Because it's really annoying. Very annoying, really. Still no gold. Come on. Give me gold. I want gold. I'll take the iron. Because, you know, there's some things it's useful for. But, uh, I want the gold. Need the gold. That's one of the reasons why I will sometimes do the, uh, you know, the nether golem raids, because it's a bit more of a sure thing. And, you know, you can get a fair amount, you know, if you've gotten your essentials from the nether and don't really need to, to go in for other stuff, um, you know gotten a, a supply of blaze rods and all that stuff. Okay, that was fine. Plug 
that, and get that. Um, and then once you've got a just a, a clear area in there nearby, you can just start sending golems in, and then every so often go in and uh, see what they get you. Uh, in fact, uh, last week I had uh, some long weekends. Last couple of weekends were long. Uh, won't have any more of those for a little while. But um, last weekend we did, and I think it was last weekend I uh, went on uh, another another raid with uh, with my golems. Uh, it should still be in the uh, the Twitch uh, stream archives there. If you want to take a look there, and it is definitely on uh, YouTube right now. If you want to take a look there, so if you're watching this on YouTube, you should be able to find that if you're interested. And if you're not, well, I got other stuff there too. Ah, some lapis. Always nice to have. We'll leave that notched. Right. Uh, this will be the third. Pop a torch. All right, a little redstone, we'll notch that. Some diorite. I don't mind that. I think we have, uh, well, andesite, rather. The diorite's the white one. Keep getting that mixed up. Uh, yeah, that's fine here. And we're getting a little bit here. I don't mind having that. Polishes up nicely. And uh, if you're playing uh, multiplayer, uh, sometimes if you're, say, tunneling like this, you might break into someone else's mine or something like that. Uh, if you don't have the uh, Silk Touch yet, uh, Andesite's a good one to have along to to plug up those holes with something that's not going to be obvious as uh, as cobblestone. So you can kind of disguise that uh, you've been there. If they're not paying attention, uh, they won't notice that there's, you know, andesite there instead of, uh, instead of stone. You know, as they're just uh, going through on the way to uh, where they're digging. And uh, won't realize that uh, that you found their mine. It's also good for say. For oh, diamonds! We're gonna go get that. Yeah, we got a few uh, slots left here. Did I get it? Yeah. Okay. Diamond ore. So that's my first diamond ore that I've gotten. Okay, got four of them. Any uh, diagonals? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Alright, let's plug them up. And we'll see what's this way as well. Nope, nothing more. And we'll leave it open to there. It is in there a little way, so I'll put a torch. Right, and this way. Oh, more iron? How much do we have? Well, we're up to 48 uh, ore there. What have we got in there? We got uh, Fortune 2, which is not bad. I'd like to get 3. Uh, we'll leave this open as well with the torch. All right. Move it on. A little ache in the, the wrist there. Like I said, did a lot of shoveling this past week. And that uh, left forearm with the, uh, the gripping muscles there. 
really feeling, oh man, a lot of iron here. Uh, we're gonna continue in here, I think. We're tunneling here anyway. Okay. So let's see. Uh, we're gonna fill in there, of course, and there, of course, and here as well. And this was to be our Four hole, I'll go ahead and do there. All right, and take advantage and get that. Nope, oh, okay. All right, and those will fill in. All right, that's, did I go full length in there? Okay. Oh, here's a skeleton. Definitely a cave in here somewhere. Do this kind of one at a time. Oh, see, I, I skipped one, two, three. Should be there, and you can't even really see that uh, we're lacking light. You definitely see the light on that uh, pickaxe, though. That is glaring, very shiny. What time is it? Uh, it's just it's midnight, so maybe it's not a time of day thing. Coal. Go ahead and notch that, and yeah, and redstone as well. So we're, you know, we're finding resources, but so far just not what we're looking for, which is the gold. And we'll notch that. Not going to dig further because we don't really want to go digging all the way in there. All right. This will be the third since then. So we'll go ahead and torch that up right away as we should. Oh, cave over here. A uh, flooded cave. Which is what we've been hearing. Oh. That was a little punchy there. Oh, waterfall right there. All right. Seems like we're past it now. Uh, okay. Need a torch there. Boom. What are we down here? 1400. Should be able to make that up real quick with some uh, melon and pumpkin trades. And getting into the dirt here. Just the dirt vein, though. Guess they can be oblong or maybe a little big. All right, and we're going to need another torch here. We'll just leave that there for now. Don't really have uh, any big redstone ambitions right now. Probably got enough for whatever I got planned at this point. 
Although at some point, I may want to uh, do some more stuff. I had been wanting, and I need to, to work this out in my lab world. Um, are we not? We're not picking those up. We are. We are saturated with stone right now. Uh, what can we chuck? Not a lot. Um. Yeah, I guess we could chuck the diorite. I'll keep the andesite. All right, we'll do that. Get stone rather than diorite. But that also leaves us uh, no room for gold. I guess we can drop the stone if necessary. Or uh, put down the ender chest. Because we got the, uh, well, we got the silk one up right now, so. Yeah, we can always do that. I forget what all we got. I got in the ender chest in this world. It's been a while since I've looked in it. Should have should have done that before leaving. Take a little inventory there, see what can be uh, emptied out of it. As a matter of fact, let's take a look now. We got nothing. We got nothing in it. All right, let's uh, let's offload this stone here. We'll keep that stack. And do the andesite as well. Put that in another row. And the gravel. Uh, the ores. I keep this. We'll keep. Well, we got this stack of iron ore. We can do that. Just need to reserve one stack of it. Put our ores up here. And we'll leave that one for the gold. Put stone over here so I can get to it. All right. And silk touch pickaxe. That's what we need for it, right? Boom. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Good. Now we got that out the way. All right. It's almost like having a, a shulker box. All right. So that's one, two... Need that. But it's better than a shulker box. Because if I get killed down here, um, well, I don't have all this in it, so I don't have that banked. But uh, at least that stone that I put in there and the gravel, uh, that'll be safe. Yeah. Maybe should have rethought that. But it's fine. Everything will be just fine. Go ahead and get this coal. Oh, I guess we'll take that uh, iron as well. Yeah, I think we're going to just kind of leave this open. Fill this in though. Um, yep. Okay. Uh, put a torch there so we can come back to that coal later if we need it. We'll notch this for the redstone. some more skeletons or another skeleton all right we're hitting the things that are now yeah we're cutting into the same vein and we'll light up this side too that's fine later on if we come and get that uh, coal we'll probably pick those torches up and uh, and then infill all right, that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
to, so we're going to need to put a torch down here. Man, we're filling up slots here, but we got more space in the other chest. I guess we're taking this uh this redstone here. Yeah, okay, keep that notched. We'll notch that one as well. Just a little redstone here as well. Where's the gold? Where is the stinking gold? Pretty sure I should be seeing it. Some at least. Haven't found a Badlands in this world yet. Haven't uh, ventured that far afield. And we did kind of circumnavigate that one ocean, but it's pretty small. I think there's an, another one on the other side of that landmass that the uh, that the village is on. The village is to the south anyway. There's another one, I think, to the north of us. Uh, kind of around the side of the mountain there. But, um... Notch that for the redstone. But, uh... Yeah, I haven't... Circled around that uh, ocean, though. Maybe that's something to do... We get our gold up. Oh. We got a little water here. Um, plug that with dirt just to kind of make it known. All right. So. Yep. Yeah. All right. How do we put this? Let's see. We can do that. Um, do for a torch there, but I'm not putting it yet. Right. What am I doing with a putting a torch there? I'm an idiot. Okay, so I think we'll put that there should be all right. Okay, that's just iron, okay. Um, okay, uh, let's see, how am I gonna deal with this? Pick that up, and then we'll dig in to get that iron. All right. Get that and boom, boom. All right. It's really good to have uh, respiration three. And uh, the old Depth Strider 3 as well really makes handling those little flooded uh, flooded mines, uh, you know, a little easier to handle. All right. Okay. Well. I got a uh, got a little cave here. Uh, I think it seems prudent to go ahead and put a thing there. And we'll put that there. That uh, redstone is going to be visible, so I don't think I'll miss that if I'm coming here looking for resources we haven't extracted yet. 
All right, continuing on. I am going to pop that there so nothing drops in on us. Okay. I think we got, uh, yeah, just right there. Something could uh, go into there, but uh, should be all right. It's kind of limited with all that water over there. It's not likely, I think, a creeper will just wander into that little space there and then surprise us. Okay. Let's go ahead and get this iron. Got some more there. Oh, there's coal. We'll leave that notched. I have no gold so far. Definitely get some iron, though. And some coal. Some gravel and a few uh, pieces of flint. Maybe if we uh, mass enough of those, we can get a Fletcher to sell them to at some point. But we have other priorities as far as that goes. I'm going to put a torch there just because it's in there a little ways. And actually, we're due for a torch over here. Like I said before, it gets hard to see. Ah, redstone. All right, so we're going to take this. Plug that in. All right, and that there for now. All right. Leave that open. Hey, finally. Now, what I'm tempted to do is uh hmm probably leave that open. So I'm going to go ahead and just put a torch there to light that up so nothing spawns, and I'll leave that open up top there to get that redstone later on. So anyway, what I'm tempted to do is to take that. That's eight. That's pretty decent. But if, uh, say, I were to just go ahead and, and smelt that, I would get eight uh, ingots out of it. Uh, but I'm going to use the, the fortune pickaxe on it, so I'll probably get more. But it's only a fortune two. Um, I'm thinking what I might do... Get... Uh, actually, I need to double check my uh, enchantments available if I have a fortune three available already. If I do, I should probably get... Uh, Get that apply to uh, to this uh, pickaxe so that I can get more out of this stuff. Um, if not, uh, maybe I'll just uh, mine one of those or, how, or one or two of these, whatever is necessary, just to get me up to the point where I can do one golden apple. Um, and then just go ahead and see if I can kind of block off one of those two villagers, get one of them zombified and de-zombified, and get that one to do the fortune, and then use the fortune three. yeah, Or fortune two, because I can put that on this one and it'll get it up to fortune three. That, I think, would actually be cheaper. 
But uh, I do want to get a Fortune 3 so I can put that on other stuff as well. Um, like this one has a 3. I forget whether I just had it enchanted like that or what. Dang, I forget. It doesn't have unbreaking, so this is probably enchantment. Otherwise, I put it put a put it on. Um, I need looting as well. But uh, yeah, I want to get that uh, get this up to fortune three, and then bust up the rest of that stuff with that. But take advantage for now that I have. Uh, the Silk Touch Pickaxe. They just collect the ores. And uh, and then bust them up later. Extract the uh, material out of them once I have uh, once I have fortune. Fortune three. I'm at one, two, this is the third. Yeah, so that and that should help uh, maximize what we get out of this stuff. Which means that these ores that I'm taking out here, uh, I'm pretty much just going to be storing them as is until I can apply that good fortune to it. But yeah, I think I am going to have to. Go ahead and extract some of the gold in order to get to that point. All right, uh, we don't have to notch that because that's right there by the wall there. Okay, second. Ah, more gold. Oh, good one too. At least uh, four. Oh yeah. And now we're up to 16. Love it. Okay. So where are we at here? We'll go ahead and plug that. Leave this one open because we're drilling here. Oh, wrists. Man, I tell you, shovel and snow, that'll do it to you. I had meant to use the uh, snow blower, but of course, we got an electric snow blower, uh, which last year was fine. I mean, we've never had, um, as long as we've been in this house, more than maybe an hour or so power outage. And uh, the neighbors have been here longer, and uh, that's been their experience as well. Uh, but yeah, this time it was it was over 24 hours. So it's really got us considering getting a generator. But uh, it also meant that uh, I was unable to use a snowblower. And by the time we did get the power back, we had had uh, some melting and refreezing, and it gets to the point where it's like you really can't use that effectively. So I did not get to use it this snowfall, which is really too bad because because of that, it took me several days. to uh, accumulate enough uh, digging time to get the driveway properly dug out. And it's still not 100%. I think we're going to be getting some rain soon, though. Hopefully not freezing rain. More iron. What do we got? That was 34. Okay, we'll be fine with that. I'll uh, go get that and then we'll do what's in the, the main tunnel. All right, let's 
let's see. Ah, redstone. Okay. Anything beyond? Nope, that's it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and go towards there. That should be fine. That's close enough. I still, I've... Oh, the, the 118 in the snapshots, they did have it set so that uh, mobs needed to have a light level of zero in order to spawn. And I'm trying to remember now if they kept that or if they backed out of it by the time it got to the actual release. Because there were some things that they did in the in the preview releases and the uh, in the snapshots that didn't carry over that that didn't stick around, especially in the experimental snapshots. Uh, and I forget whether that was one of them. I have to look that up. But uh, yeah, that would be for one eighteen. Uh, we're in right now is one seventeen. That's the third. Yeah, we are getting full up, but fortunately we do have we did get some more gold. If all we got was this, that would be enough for uh for those two villagers. I'm hoping to get a little bit more out of it. I do need to review what uh, enchantments we have available already. But uh, the fact that I do only have uh, in Fortune 2 on this makes me think that I haven't gotten 3 yet. But in any case, we definitely we're definitely going to need more gold than just enough to, you know, dezombify two villagers. I really, really wish the uh... sorry, my stomach's gurgling a bit there. Hope it's not right by the microphone. But uh... yeah, I really wish that the golden apple could be made with nuggets. I mean, thinking of coating an apple with gold, I mean, well, actually, how big is a gold ingot, actually, in real life? I mean, it's not a gold bar. It's an ingot, which is going to be relatively small. So, I mean, still, it's a fairly thick coating of, of gold as gold coatings go. So, yeah, a nugget. As far as, you know, gold plating something seems more reasonable to me. I don't know. Okay, uh, it is time for the old ender chest again. And we're going to fit in our rocks. Gravel, stone, more stone, anthracite. Throw the flint in as well. Oh, and this granite. And this stone, we'll keep that. Actually, let's uh, put those in for, for infill. And we'll keep the dirt as well. All right. Uh, the coal are, I don't know. Let's see. Do we have any full stacks of anything? 
Nope, iron ore is still down at 46. And we'll put the gold there. And I guess we'll stick the ender chest in, uh, in there. All right. Okay. And yeah, we can pick some more stuff up. Uh, and there's still plenty of room in there. Get the both sides. We got both sides. Okay, good. All right. All right. Get a little redstone there. Uh, let's see. That was one, two. So this is where the next one should go. Again, you can barely make out the difference. And part of it is because they do have the dynamic lighting on so that this uh, torch in my hand does light things up a bit. I am hearing lava. Kind of off to the left. Uh, hopefully not some place that we're going to cut into. Is relatively distant. In fact, I only heard one little. What would, not a glimpse, act uh, obviously, but uh, what would be the auditory uh, analog to a glimpse? Not sure. All right. And we'll go ahead and take that. And we're going to be digging further in as well. Did I get the redstone? Okay, good. I got it. All right. And we'll just put a torch there. All right, we're getting yeah, we're getting down on there a little bit. It's mending, but of course we haven't been actually mining the ores, so we haven't been getting any uh, any experience points from either the redstone or the uh, coal. That will come later. Probably a fair amount later, if it takes a while to uh, to get that fortune three, because it might hold off for that. Yeah. Okay, so we've got like another twenty minutes on this stream. So I'm kind of inclined to go ahead and take this. This iron here. See what we can get in here. Put a torch there. Uh, let's see. Let's go to the next one here. Because we're going to put a torch right there. And if we make these next boreholes our last, they'll be nice and lit up. Notch this for the coal. And nothing over that side. All right. So, oh, that's a long ways. So yeah, if we leave it off here, it'll be right by the end. Uh, so yeah, we got about 20 minutes to go in this. So let's head on back and see if we, because we got a lot of stuff. I did get the, I did get the ender chest. Okay, good. Make sure I'm not leaving that behind. All right, so we got a fair amount of stuff. Just one lapis. We've 
a lot of the redstone and stuff we just found and left there. Uh, we'll get plenty of coal out of that. We got a few diamonds. Um, that's iron. Plus, uh, well, I don't think we put any of the ores in the uh, in the ender chest, so that should be everything we got there. And then there's 16 gold. Um, again, even without without fortune, that would be enough for for two villagers. With the fortune, uh, fortune two, mm, I don't know. Maybe we get enough for three out of it. If we can get fortune three, well, we're going to have to use the fortune two for at least the first little bit. At least one piece of ore, I'm thinking. How far are we here? We got a little ways. This is a long one. Yeah, we're pretty much right. Uh, just getting back to where the stuff that was already dug. Yeah, having some good enchantments on your pickaxe does speed things up as far as the digging. But it does mean you got to go back farther. On the other hand, it's that much more that... Uh, We've got kind of locked in uh, this way and here. Okay. It's that much more than we got locked into with the uh, the old underground uh, cave and ore uh, generation. So that when we do convert this world to uh, 118, you know, we'll have, uh, we'll have that much already established. All right, we are back upstairs. Let's see, we got, uh, do we have one for stone? We got stone there. All right, so we can toss some of that there. Actually, let me put the ender chest down. And we'll start grabbing stuff out of that. All right, let's uh, grab all the stone that we can. And let's see, do we get, yeah, we got the, no, where the heck did I put it? Yeah, here's the stone. All right. Um, stone. I forget exactly what we were planning on with this. Maybe I was, I think maybe at the time I was just, uh, just, uh, you know, smelting some, uh, what you call it, uh, cobblestone. Maybe in order to make the walls and stuff like that. All right, okay, so yeah, we did have another stack of iron ore there. Otherwise, this is all just stuff. All right, so, diorite, uh, not dirt, we'll put granite in there, andesite, gravel, gravel, we may have to start uh, doing chests just uh, for this stuff. Oh, got another stone. All right. More diorite and the flint. Diorite up there. Do I have one where I'm putting flint? Got a few empty chests there, don't I? Yeah, yeah, stone brick walls there. Uh, let's see. So many empty chests. All right, well. Let's go ahead and grab that. All right. Okay, that is where things are going. Uh, I think we have a space for flint up here somewhere. Yeah, there. Lots of there. And let's see, what are we going to do with this? Let's see, with the, the gold ore. Let's, let's get out of this noise. 
Sorry about that. Oh, the dirt. I wanted to put dirt away. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's so loud. So loud. I'd do something about that at some point. And we'll keep we'll keep some dirt on hand. You can always wash later. Anyway. Let's see what we get here. Iron Golem's busy up there. I'm going to go ahead and sleep. We were in there for a little bit. I don't want uh, phantoms coming after me. Hey, guys. You missed me? All right. Uh, let's see. Gold ore, we'll put uh, there, I guess. And we'll up over to the fortune one. What do we got? We got two out of that. And that will not quite be enough. One more. And that gets us three. And that would be, with that, would be just enough. And I, of course, I don't have a don't have a uh, um, what you call it furnace there whoa that sounded close all right so we'll go ahead and toss the raw gold in there get that going oh, we need to take the charcoal out put it there we had some charcoal going in there didn't we whoops back there you We'll just toss it in there. There you go. Oh. Okay. Huh. I don't remember doing that, but I must have planned it out pretty pretty well. Oh. Bump the microphone. Sorry about that. Okay. There's our three gold. Can you hear me? Now we, we, you know, we walled off a fair amount of space over there. Might want to relocate the sheep and cows. I don't think they need to be right overhead anymore. But we'll have to figure that out. All right, so we'll grab this. We'll grab one of these. And we will make one golden apple. All right. There we go. One gold apple, and we got two splash potions. That will be enough to get one of these guys. I'm going to go ahead and put these ores in here for now. And do those later. We want to get a dude with fortune. All right. So can we get that in the next 10 minutes? Excuse me. Let's see if we got a, uh, a zombie waiting in here. All right. We're going to... Oh, we need to have that side opened up for the... Okay. Here's a zombie. What we're going to do... Uh, we are going to seal that guy up in there. And we're going to do that with some walls, I think, rather than whole blocks. All right, stay safe, dude. Stay safe. That ought to that ought to keep you safe enough. All right, pop that in there. We'll come back and uh, put the others back in there later. All right. Um, okay. Let's go see what we got. Oh, creeper. Nice. Turn that on. Hello. There you go. All right. Take care of them. And actually... We're gonna 
run around in here real quick. Hey guys, excuse us. Come through there. That'll heal that up a little bit. Didn't really check the uh, the numbers on that beforehand, but uh, yeah, I got it a bit. I don't think I had any damage on there, so I think it looks like it got up a bit. Maybe I'll check the uh, recording later on. Uh, so right now, we'll close that. Um, make sure I got my escape route in there. Hey guys, come and get me. Come on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Just the one. And there he goes. All right, and I will... Oh, whoa, you almost stepped in the front of it, dude. There we go. All right. Oh, and the other zombie's in there. Nice. Well, we'll take care of him later. Um, of course, that means... Well, I got the light on in there, so we shouldn't have anything other any other things uh, spawning in there. So, that ought to be okay. We'll put this in there. We'll, we'll take care of doing that later. Um, that's a string in there. Gunpowder. Always good to have more fixings for uh, the potions. All right, so um, yeah, let's grab our kit here. One splash potion, one golden apple. I'll put that there, kind of out of reach. Make sure I don't mistakenly do the wrong thing. Splash potion on you, and golden apple. There we go. Heal up, dude. All right, close you in there. Keep you safe from that uh, zombie. And put that uh, back on. All right. And this guy. I'll go ahead and open that up. He's far enough away. Why is that there? How'd that go way the heck over there? I was standing right by it. <sighs> The mechanics in this thing are just a bit awkward. All right, so, uh, place for this guy. I think well, we're going to have him come over this way, actually. Over here. So I think we're going to put him in here, and let's make a lectern for that. And then we'll... Let's see, what all do we need for a lectern? I think we're going to need a bookshelf, which needs three books. Uh, let's see. I think we need slabs for that. I think. Or maybe we just need more planks. Okay. Bookshelf, yeah, I need planks. All right, and lectern. Okay, and do we have any slabs in here? We'll just toss the slabs in there. All right, should probably get some more wood for the future. All right, put that there. Let's uh, open that up. We'll get uh, walls. We're going to put those there and there. There and there. There. And there and there. Okay. That ought to guide him over. Still healing. It's a, you know, the process. Getting to be late. 
Now, in the past, I've tended to want to guide these guys to their new location um, at night, you know, lure them over the bed. But uh, so far in here, I've kind of found that uh, they tend to go for uh, they tend to go for a workstation more readily. So we're gonna see what that does. Hopefully he'll uh, do that. So we'll get him over there, get him started, and maybe do a few trades. You know, try you know recycling the uh, things. Oh, while I'm waiting for that, I should uh, I should really be doing my uh, melons. We can mend up our uh, stuff here. And also need efficiency on this. We'll see what we luck into for our secondary trades. And we also need uh, some slabs or something on there. Okay. So here's a question. We got the, the uh, little two by two water areas there for, you know, to have our endless supply of water there. But you can also waterlog uh, stairs. Come on, heal, dude. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sleep. Whoops, sorry about that. Just reaching up to scratch my head a bit. And bonked the microphone. All right. Hey, there he goes. All right. Um, you there. Oh, I need to be uh, having this in hand. Did that do it? I get up a fair amount. That's almost up there. All right. Not bad, not bad. But for now, we need to get this guy. All right, go. There's a workspace for you. Did I get the thing? No, I didn't. Close that for now. Are you in your workspace? Nice. There you are. What have you got for me? Bookshelves. Nice. Okay. Let's go ahead and, uh, whoops, we'll go ahead and get these here. Get these out the way. Now, I should also take advantage of uh, this guy. Yep, make sure I close that. All right, go ahead and get that guy. And then we'll get him uh, locked away. All right. Oh, okay, you're gonna hold that. All right, that's fine. All right, close you up in there. Okay. And he will be safe and sound until uh, the next time. Uh, but until then, we're going to work on this guy. And it's actually about time to go. Let's go ahead and free up that spot. Uh, all right, excuse me, sir. I need to squeeze in here. Because you are not going to stick with that trade. I'll tell you that much. Um, I am. Can't quite reach him. Okay, well. No. There we go. Uh, lure one? No, that's not going to do it. Blast protection? No. 
We are looking for Fortune 3. Fortune 1. That's not quite there. Actually, yeah. If we have Fortune... That's right. I did want to check. Fortune 2 would be enough for that, but I do want to get Fortune on... Fortune 3 on some other things. Got it on the hoe. Got it on there. I'm trying to think what else we can put it on. Uh, the axe got silk touch. Silk touch and something else could work as well. Um, yeah, well. And we also wanted... Uh, what do we want? Uh, some... Looting and, and such as well. Oh, no, no. Dude, move out of the way. On breaking one, that's a nice one. Okay. Bookshelves. I'm willing to go like five minutes over. Lame, because just to see if we get lucky. Silk touch, which is something we got already. Actually, let me check my notes, because I know I've got some notes here on what we have. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. There we are. What do we got? I only have notes on a few of the. Uh, yeah, I don't think we have that. We do have Silk Touch on one of the librarians. Uh, oh, we do have a Fortune 3 on one of them already. Okay, so in Looting 1, I think we want Looting 3. Let's try to get Looting 3 from this guy. Um, and I wonder if I already got the Fortune... Uh, Fortune 3 to put on there, so maybe I should just go ahead and do that. I may have a book already. Dang it, what the heck am I doing? I should not have wasted that ore on that guy. That was dumb. That was dumb in hindsight. All right, let me... So, yeah, one of my guys does have uh, Fortune 3. That was Librarian A, which I th think is the first one here. Yeah, Fortune 3, right there, for 24. Uh, I think we established that trade before uh, before I had the, the zombification things going on, so I may not have bought one yet. Let me see what we got here. Uh, Aqua Affinity, Respiration. I think that's... I guess the only books I have right now, so... I don't think I have any over here. No, no books in storage over there. All right, so let's go ahead and buy that. What do we got on hand? 48, and we need a book. Uh, where did I put the books? There they are. I mean, we could always buy bookshelves. And get it. All right. Fortune 3, 24. That's not bad. All right, so we'll go ahead and put it on that. Actually, we really only needed Fortune 2 to get it. This will probably be more expensive, but uh, you know, what the heck? What the heck? It's what we got. Otherwise, it's been forever getting that. So let's do that, and then, uh, then we'll work on these ores. All right, uh, yeah. So we're going to need this one here, that there. Only cost seven. We are going to rename this. Okay. There we go. That's our fortune. There's our silky. The emeralds back over there. All right. Uh, where did I put all those ores? Because we're going to need those. Actually, let's go ahead and sell off the produce. 
quiet cows. What else do I have that needs mending? That's uh, only needs one. And this needs like 10, so I'll put that over there. And hold this one. All right. Yeah, hey, that's got them both. All right. And uh, this needs a little mending as well. Uh, wait. Get those. Perfect. Okay. That's all Mendy Wendy, but we need to sell everything off. Get some levels. Because we need to get some levels back from, uh... From upgrading that stuff. Alright. And... That can go in there. We also need to get a money chest. All right, so, and uh, these go back in as well. All right, let's uh, go get those ores. Where the heck did I put them? And what time is it? It's getting late in the evening. Yeah, we're going a little bit over with this one, but, you know, we, we got to... We gotta see what we get out of this. I'm looking forward to that. All right, where did I put those ores? I know I stuck them in one of these. Dang it, where the heck did I put them? Down here, here. Where the heck did I put them? I know I didn't put them all in the ender chest, did I? Uh, where did I put them? Did I put them in the ender, ender chest? Where the heck did I stick them? Holy cow. Alright. Did I put them in the other chest? No, I didn't. Gotta make sure I got the right one here. It would not do to destroy the ender chest, even if there's nothing in it. been over in the chest over here, right? Yeah, I put them all in there. Okay. Boom. Okay. So, uh, gonna go ahead and sleep. Have a nice, uh, fresh start in the morning. Okay. Because we're gonna go outside and do this so we can stack them up high. Make sure there's no uh, creepy boys around. Shouldn't be. We got everything all lit up nice. And we're going to take it over here where we were doing those dirt stacks uh, last week. Uh, so I'm going to do it like right here. Man, I don't think we can maybe put too many torches. <laughs> I'm definitely going to need to get some, uh, some glowstone and maybe some, uh, some moss carpet. I need to figure out how to get that and make it. So that, uh, so that we can lay that on top of the glowstone. That should be much nicer looking. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to start our stack. The, uh, oops, let's see, I need to get that a little more centered. And we're going to start with the uh, stuff that gets us XP. Because that is what we're going to end with mining. 14. The question is what kind of stacks are we going to get out of this? And how much is this going to fill the inventory?
but I think we can. I think you use this like a, a little two by two uh, thing to craft the uh, the ores into the, like the little bean blocks. Man, I don't want to fall off of this. Let's see. Da, da, da. And uh, well, I got the diamond and the lapis. More iron. We'll do the iron. Oh man, the uh, <laughs> the fog is starting to take over. This is crazy high. <laughs> this is crazy high. Actually, I think we do get a little XP with the uh, with that. So we don't want to use the silky. We want to use the fortune. All right. How high are we? We are at Y two forty one. Um, and this should have plenty, uh, enough. Okay. We're getting some XP with this already. Okay. I forgot you get that. All right. So yeah, we got seven out of that of each of those. Well, the lapis gives you plenty. And I think we just did one iron and got four out of it. Five, seven, yeah. What kind of efficiency do we have on this? Efficiency four? Okay. That's pretty fair. Man. Oh, we were up over the top of this guy. Should have looked around before doing this. Anyway. This is cool. It's so tempting to put my uh, render distance up really high right now, but that would also uh, bring down our frames per second a lot, I think. How's our stacks? Oh man, look at that. On our third stack of iron already. Halfway through our third stack of iron. And I forget exactly how much of this we went through. How much the ore. Fourth stack of iron. Oh, and the coal is just going to be so much. Yeah, we're going to have to, let's see, what can we... Oh, can we... No, you can't make it with that. Do you need to... Do I need to put the crafting table down for that? I just want to see. Oh, okay. It's, it's, it's nine. All right. So... Yeah, so we get a bunch of those. That'll help. That'll help a bit. All right. Okay, good. Grab that. That's a good thing. All right, let's see. Uh, and it doesn't help us to consolidate that because it won't really save a stack. All right. Now the gold. How much do we end up with? All right, and we end up with 39. And again, that's a single stack, so doesn't help us to get that. Uh, redstone, we should get a lot. And, uh, and we're all mended up. Oops. 
did that. So we got two stacks of the redstone. I don't think it'll help us to uh, combine those yet. And we probably got plenty space for coal as well, because we were really taking a lot. All right. And there you go. So that topped off our coal, and we just got a little bit more. Okay. All right, did pretty good. Wow, that was way up high. Uh, any any bit of that uh, fall around here? I don't think so. All right, so let's uh, head back in. Well, let's go through this way. Ow. Okay. Yeah, that's some hungry work. Okay. So we got seven diamonds out of it, seven lapis, and we got a lot of raw gold. A lot of raw gold. This should this should help us a lot. This will be at least like uh at least like four or five villagers. I don't know if that's enough to get all of them of what uh, we got. So yeah, we're gonna have to do another run for this. All right, so let's go over here, start some stuff smelting, and uh, and then leave off for tonight. We've gone a good, uh, we've gone a good twenty minutes over, I'm thinking uh, overall. So let's see. Um, I think we'll do the thirty-two at a time. Uh, you know what? That's fine. That's getting most of uh, the value out of a piece of charcoal, and it's renewable anyway. All right, so uh, we need to... Let's see what we got here. Go ahead and grab these and consolidate that. All right, that's not bad. Oh, that really is up here. Put those in there. Grab our lapis. No, nope, we're just going to get one block out of that. Okay. Not using a lot of lapis, really. Uh, coal. We got our blocks of coal there. We're going to get, I think, uh, one block out of that. And then just put the eight lumps there. And let's see. For our iron. Let's see that well. Where are we putting putting our diamonds there? Uh, I guess I could make them blocks, but eh, it doesn't really help anything. And let's see. The iron we can unblock those and wow that's a lot to uh to smelt so we'll put a couple stacks of that going but we still got two more stacks plus one piece of raw iron so those are going to go where did i have those over here so i'll just go ahead and put that raw iron there with that one. And then these other two stacks we will smelt next time around. And that's going good. And these are going good. Okay. So. That, I think, concludes it. Can you hear me over the sheet? Sorry about that. Anyway. Um, that concludes our evening of uh, fun. Down in the mines. Uh, we got a lot. Uh... That was really fun stacking them all up and, uh, you know, extracting all of that uh, material out of the ore since we had that Fortune 3. That makes all the difference, doesn't it? Anyway, that is it for tonight. I will see you tomorrow night with the... That will be the stream for the uh, Hardcore uh, Minecraft 1.18 with the Terralith uh, data pack. Fun times there. We're doing some motion exploration, so tune in there. Or if you're watching this uh, later on, uh, you should probably uh, go and check that out on the YouTube channel as well. 
All right. So anyway, I will see you then. Bye.